Oh man. So you, you were watching part two for a second time, third time? What was that? Second time. Second time I watched part two today. Are you gonna give the um the TV show a try? Um I might wanna look I think I'm I might wanna look at it, see what it's about. Deb, where I you mean, at? how much can I'm they here. stretch out of this series, you know, but obviously they can milk it for all it's worth. Well, they, they made the remake. And then now there's the Evil Dead Rise that's coming out shortly. On the 21st. On the 21st of this month. Yeah. And according to um, South by Southwest people, that is amazing. But anyways, before we get into that. I just want to let both of y'all know there is no phone call this week. We did not receive a call from anyone, let alone <laughs> Chucky. Whoa. Deb, you oh. don't have to get all choked up over there. I know, I'm sad. <laughs> let me check. Let me check one more time right now as we go into record. There's a text message. text message i am interested in attending the podcast okay and i just wrote back awesome (laughs) (laughs) that's it who i am i'm just interested in coming on your podcast okay who are you does it really matter (laughs) the the number is the number the number is not chucky's number it is a seven eight six number, and they uh, said what? it was Wednesday at nine oh six a.m. Uh, why am I just seeing it now? I checked this earlier, and all it says is I am interested in attending. I am interested in attending the podcast. Okay, and I <laughs> that I just wrote back right now. Awesome, that's cool. All right, I, I get it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, whoever you are out there, you know, I'm sorry for Josh's uh, slow, slow on that. Um, they get back. <laughs> well, I, know. I've been checking. I've been checking for calls and all that. And I just saw the text right now. It's it. Uh, Listen, don't blame we're, me. We're blame be, Google. We'll update that list. We'll be checking that list on that bus very uh, regularly. So you guys will be on top of it. Don't worry. Well, the bus list is for Patreons only. Before we get into any of all that mumbo jumbo. I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up. Let's give out the information. First of all, I'm Josh. I'm Cobweb. And I'm Deb. We're the dream team here at Cast of the Pod. For anybody that's new that hasn't heard it before or stumbled upon us or was recommended by a friend or some some shenanigans like that, we are the podcast that um, watch horror movies. And if it's something we saw back in the day, we bring up what's nostalgic to us and if it's something we just saw now we just talk we end up having a conversation sometimes we get a little off track talk about something that has nothing to do with it but most of the time we stick to uh the movie that's on hand and today's movie is a 1981 classic the evil dead but before we get into that if you're going to look for us online you can find us on twitter instagram facebook tiktok youtube Patreon at Woo. Cast of the Pod. C A S T of the P O D. And we'll get into we'll get into the special benefits you get by being a Patreon member later on. But uh yeah. Yeah, Club 3P, how you doing? Check out Upkick MMA. Listen to them on YouTube. Shout out to Sam Haim, Miss Black Cat, Anonymous Nobody. And uh yeah, are we ready now to get into the the man dude are you done paying the bills i like nope. for real dude now we got to get back into this later on too man, it's time. Dude. starts in the beginning we know that yeah and it never stops man just think about dude. it when we have more patreons we have more it's gonna be a little bit longer because he has to go through all the list well no once we get tons of patrons it'll just be a list at the end Right well, now, we still have oh, to yeah, say yeah. their names during the podcast. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no doubt, no doubt. Especially the higher tiers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Cobweb, how are you doing today, my friend? Man, you know I'm doing pretty. Um, I'm feeling pretty good today. That, you know, 
that's good. Pretty that's good, good today. For you any know. of any of the new listeners, Cobweb is from the north. We are from the south. We cover different parts of the country, and it's it's still the the dream team family that we got going on over here. Heck yeah, heck yeah. It's um, you know, it's been a pretty good week. You know, you know, you have your ups, your downs, your lows, but you know, if you just stay right there in the middle, that's the only thing you can do. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. That's how I feel. <laughs> That's good to hear, brother. You know? That is good to hear. Deb, are you awake over there? Yep, I'm awake. Are you going to talk in the microphone? Yeah, I'm not going to talk over Cobweb. He was talking. I wasn't saying to talk over Cobweb. See, this is what I got to deal with. <laughs> but you're like, are you going to talk? He was fine. <laughs> you're like, are you going right. to talk? And I'm like, yeah, he was talking. What do you want me to do? So. <laughs> There you go again. I'm telling you, why does he do this to us every week, Deb? Every week he does this exact same thing to us. I don't know. <laughs> Are we good now? Are We're we, good. We're good. All right. We're fine. All right. So, the 1981 classic, The Evil Dead, directed by Sam Raimi, written by Sam Raimi, stars Bruce Campbell, Ellen Sandwis, Richard uh, Manicure. The Man in Core. Yeah. Uh, it's a horror film. NC-17. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, NC-17. It's an hour and 25 minutes. Five oh, wow. friends travel to a cabin in the woods where they unknowingly release flesh-possessing demons. That's all it says. Well, there's another one. Break uh, Storyline breakdown. Five college students take time to spend a peaceful vacation in a remote cabin. A book and audio tape is discovered and its evil is found to be powerful once the incarnations or incantations are read out loud. The friends find themselves helpless to stop the evil as it takes them out one by one with only one survivor left with the evil dead and desperately tries to fight to live until morning. Miss Murder wrote that. First of all, if I was in this movie or this was going on, and we had to drive over that bridge. That would be the end of the movie. For yeah. Me. Beginning and <laughs> done. You ain't lying, Deb. Because that bridge, and it was like, drive on your at your own risk. And he was like, oh, it's no big deal. And then a tire sinks in. He's like, oh, it happens all the time. Man. Man. <laughs> that bridge right there, for me, that was a game changer. That was the game changer. Because you know how I felt? You're like, you know you're going over and it's rough. But you got to think, you got to go back. Instead of going forward, they should have just thrown it in reverse and said, hey, we're going to find a hiking trail. Yep. If it's that important to get to the cabin or whatever, you're out in the woods, hike your ass. Yep. I wouldn't even went. <laughs> They're like in the middle of nowhere. It was all scary yeah. to begin with. And then while they were driving, they had those two hitchhikers that were all waving. That wasn't suspicious at all. So I have. Yeah, right. I have something to admit. Deborah, how many times have you seen The Evil Dead? The first one? Yep. That, that was my first time. Cobweb? This was my first time, too. I had seen clips of it. I had assumed that I had seen it. But what I, all this time that I had assumed that I had seen was actually The Evil Dead 2. Yep. So I had never seen... The Evil Dead from beginning to end in one sitting ever. I do remember as a little kid going to the store, the corner store, the, right next to the corner store is a mom and pop place, had a video rental place. And I remember getting um, Robocop and Predator. And then they had Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. And my aunt, who's like one year older than me, told me, oh, well, you don't need to get Evil Dead 1 because part 2 is just the... The remake of it. It's the same thing. I can see that. It's a little bit. They kind of like, it was kind of like a reboot. Well, the first one is like, it was like the college film. And then the retcon version of two when they had some money is what mm-hmm. would happen. Yeah. That junk right there, man. I'm, I ain't going to front. Um, Evil Dead kind of took, it shook me for a little bit, dude. That junk was that first, this first one. Mm-hmm. It was good. It um, 
Yeah, I can see that. It was like a lot of stuff that you could see, just like the character, his character, what's his name? Uh, Ash. Ash. How his character starts to evolve from this into what you see all the way in Army of Darkness. It's freaking unbelievable to me, man. It is really he, is. He was a big wuss in The Evil Dead. Yeah, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> remember remember when, when she came in that room and he had the axe? <laughs> And then he just she gnawed off her arm hand. <laughs> he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> Deborah's going, hit, hit it, hit it. I know. And he's just there in the corner, just scared. Compared to oh. later on in Army of Darkness when he's like, this is my boomstick, bitches. I know he doesn't say bitches, oh, but he might God. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen Army Dude. of Darkness? Yeah, he saw he saw every he saw all three. All three of them, that's right. Yeah. Hey. What? Did they play the? Do we play the intro? No, no we did we not. <laughs> <laughs> Warning: This podcast is about the horror genre, specifically horror films. As most we horror movies are filled with getting coarse getting language, it. violence, and/or gore, the topics and language of the cast of the pod will also reflect the genre. If you have any issues with the aforementioned warnings, please press stop. However, if you have no issue with adult language, movie violence, or the accoutrement that accompanies horror films, please feel free to continue. You have been warned. Hey, how's it going out there, pod people? I know... um Sometimes we seem like we are on top of everything. We were. We planned to do this like this. Yeah. Actually, no, well, he, we, were, we were just too much in a hurry to get into the podcast. We have so much fun. Here, here's the thing. I was in a hurry, a rush to get to because you, you know we are close to Austin. And with us being close to Austin, we are connected to several directors that are in and out of Austin. Right? And sometimes right. when you're connected to these, these directors... Um, you you get to meet some of the actors, and actresses, actors. I just say actors for everybody. And sometimes you get connected with a certain somebody who meets you up with somebody else. And I just so happen to have a special guest on the phone right now that I have to bring over. Make sure everything's paired up in Bluetooth. What? This is what? What? I didn't even know about this. Yeah. What is going on here? Cobweb. All this time? Cob- Cobweb, Deb, what would you say if on the phone right now, right now, I could bring over Mr. Bruce Campbell himself? What? <laughs> I would not talk. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead. And I was lying. Why would you do that to us? Why? 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 You know, my heart like really dropped like a little bit. And then I was like, how the heck did he play this off? You know, it was like a timing thing or something like that. You know, and then I'm like, you know, you know, you wrong for that, Josh. <laughs> you wrong for that. Are, Don't play are, with my are, emotions like that. We are connected to some certain somebodies that we can't talk about right now until it actually pays off and we bring them onto the podcast. But uh, yeah. It's all good, man. I know you only got a stun on him like that, you know. You know, we all we all we all know what it's like. We all it's all cast of the pod. Come on, man. We all family out here. Hey, you know, just saying just saying the words, even though I knew it was not happening, I was getting happy about it. My face was getting tight and all that, just just smiling. And I knew you really thought that you I you hyped yourself up and really thinking he was coming. I knew it was a lie, and I got happy about it. Did you get sad when you told yourself you was when a I joke? admitted to it? Yeah, well. <laughs> that's wrong for that. <laughs> that's wrong, bro. That's wrong. You just <laughs> hey, it is what it is. That's funny. So, I mean, who who doesn't know the story of the Evil Dead? The the, the movie, you know what happened and all that. There's so many things. Um, Bruce Campbell got hit in the face with a camera, lost some teeth. Oh wow! The opening scene when you're watching the movie and the water's going over the pond, right? Yes. 
Um, Sam Raimi's in a little dinghy floating in the water, holding the camera right above the water. And Bruce Campbell is pushing the boat like he's walking through the swamp, pushing the boat so they can get that shot. This was this was as DIY as it could possibly be. But see, I, I, I when they make these it was movies, dope, bro, yes, it was so dope. It was so dope. The story was so great and captivating. Man, ask, ask me, answer me this. Here's here's something. What How many got? times did they fall into that stupid puddle of water in the forest? That same one. <laughs> hey. In every movie. <laughs> now, yeah. th- 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 there are a couple of scenes in here that set precedent, and I don't know if it's it's what started things. I know in a lot of, I don't want to say anime, but the the other more adult adulter than anime animation. Yes. Where there's a whole bunch of tentacles going certain places on people and all that. I wonder if yeah. this movie started that with the tree assault scene. Well, um, yeah, probably. I was thinking about something about heavy metal, which was kind of wild too, but I don't know. I can't, you can't count me on that, you know? That was uh, back in the early 80s when this came out. What year did this come out? In 81. Yeah. 81. I def this was definitely not on my radar in 1981. Me neither. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It, it's it's crazy. Junk, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, this no. I'm just saying this junk was 81. If I would have watched this, I'd have probably been terrorized. Yep. Yeah. I wouldn't even know what was going on. I'd have just been scared. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. Cra- it's crazy to see. Well, by the time they by the time they got to part two, they realized that that. The movie was so dark and so heavy that they threw in a little couple of comedic spots in there. So part two became a whole bunch of slapstick and jokes along with the evilness, with with the darkness. And um, the the tree assault scene, even though it has somebody being drugged through the woods with with, um, twigs being shoved in her face. And then slammed into mm-hmm. a tree at high speed is so less violent than the assault scene of the original one. <laughs> you ain't lying about that. She shouldn't have took that. And wait a minute. Okay, let, let's break this down right quick. Okay, because a lot of people, I, you guys have seen, you, I don't know who has actually seen Evil Dead, the original, the first one. But that chick right there, when she took her ass out there to them damn woods, okay, because she heard that damn noise. What the hell was going through her damn head? How far did you have to go before you find trouble? What she's like, like about five, six blocks away from the doggone cabin. We, yeah, just <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> well, well, I we, mean, how far do you go? Well, you know the trope, our favorite word on on this podcast, trope uh, of what's that noise? Let's go investigate. Right, that's what she was doing. But she was all the way out to say, are you out there? You out there? But you look when she got assaulted, how far she was away from that cabin. Yeah, she was, she was gone. She was gone. <laughs> Yesterday, we watched, um, we finished watching, well, we watched Evil Dead the other day. And yesterday, we started watching Evil Dead too, And we didn't finish it, but we, we've already seen part two. So, um, I told Josh... I get it. So, Evil Dead, because a lot of people were saying that Evil Dead 1 is Evil Dead 2. Like, they just, like, remade it. Right. And Mm -hmm. I I told Josh, so I get it. So, Evil Dead 1 is, like, Deb-splaining. And Evil Dead 2 is y'all. Like, correcting me. Cobweb and myself telling you the way that it should be. (laughs) Okay. I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Because when that we, junk go. <laughs> go ahead, Dale. Because when we started watching part two, it was like everything, like just all in short, like it was like the first 10 minutes of the movie. And it was like the whole movie of part one. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of where part two, because at the end of part one, everybody's there. Ash is walking. I mean, everybody's dead except for Ash. He's walking away. And it looks like mm-hmm. everything's all right. And part one, I mean, part two is a different version of how he got there to the cabin. And he's there with his girlfriend this time, giving her the same necklace. And then after she dies off, 
the the spirit comes through the 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 cabin like it ended in part one, hits him like it ended in part one, but then he falls into that puddle again. Yep, and it starts the next part. <laughs> which, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it have a problem good. if more movies did this. They're like, hey, you know what? Part one was pretty good, so let's just kind of remake it sort of better in part two. Yeah, you know, okay. it's like that. It. It's it's classic nineteen eighties style. Honestly, tell the truth. You think about like the eighties cartoons or something like that when they have like a um, it'd be like a sequel or something like that. When they started back up, it would not be just the same way it was when it ended off of the first one. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like the all perilous or something like that in the first one. But then in the second one, the parts two, they come back in and change it up just a little bit to to bring it through to the storyline. You know, they used to do it all the time on Batman and Robin, you know, all the time. What, what I want to know is on the, on this set that they use, they actually... They didn't want because they were from Michigan, right? Mm-hmm. And they didn't want to film in a cabin out in Michigan because what happens up in Michigan? It gets cold. So they went to Tennessee so they could film in a Tennessee winter, which doesn't get as cold as it normally does in Michigan. And you know what happened that year? It got cold. What happened? Michigan had the warmest winter that it had had in decades. <laughs> you know what else happened? It was cold in Tennessee. Tennessee had the coldest winter <laughs> it had had in wow. decades. That should tell you something right there. There was you 13 people sleeping inside that cabin. That was somebody's just farm cabin. And they were like, uh, it was all dilapidated and they had to rebuild it on the inside and everything like that. And the, the fireplace didn't actually exist. They added the fireplace to it. And the farmer that they leased it from was like, oh, as long as you you leave it in the condition that you find it, then you can use it. And actually, they left it better because they left it with a fireplace. Now, when they left, they took a whole bunch of mementos and made like this evil dead. um, What do you call it? Uh, When you bury stuff um, for people to find it. Like a time capsule. Yeah, they did uh, evil dead time capsule in there. And they never really said where the the place was. And it was for any evil dead fan later on that wanted to come and pick it up. Well, the place burnt down. Everything except the the fireplace. So I'm I'm wondering like if anybody ever got it or what would have been in it. That would have been pretty cool. Something that to, 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 you know. Yeah, that would have been pretty nice. This is one of those situations where if I had a time machine, I'd go back to get the little what would you call it? A time capsule? Yeah, I, I, if I had a time machine, I'd go back in time to get the time capsule. Why would you do that? Because that's cool. Just for that? Come on, man. I could do a couple of other things besides that. Oh, man, you so can't... You can't lottery numbers to me. You can't, you can't mess with, like, major <laughs> stuff. No, I mean, you could leave a lottery number for me, Josh, or something, you know? But no, you're just thinking about your own self and getting this well, evil what, dead What, thing what if I help you win the lottery and it takes the money out of somebody else's hands, which they used it selfishly, but the way that they were using it selfishly made somebody else drive their car some other way and they took a left instead of a right because I gave you the lotto number instead of the money that the people are supposed to have. And that turn made this other car like swerve off. And it made like this bus load of kids and nuns drive off the side of the highway just because you wanted to win the lottery. And you know I'm what? Now. I'm I, I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. With that. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. I'm still mad at you for <laughs> not dropping off the damn lotto numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! Man, hey, you know. That cabin. Let's back to that cabin thing. How big was that freaking cabin? They made that cabin seem from like the, it was huge. From the outside, it looked like it was twelve foot by like twelve foot, <laughs> and on the inside, it right. had twelve rooms. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> it had a it had a basement. The, that basement was actually filmed in. Um, I think it was Sam Raimi's farmhouse. You know, people okay. that got farmhouses and all that. Yeah, it's just they made another set there. Okay, I can see that because I was like, man, that's a really big basement down there. Bigger, you know? than, bigger than the whole house. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, one of my one of my favorite scenes, I ain't gonna front, 
that was the funniest to me in this whole series. It was that one. I think it was in two. Yeah, it was in. Yeah, was that two? I don't know. It was the one when he woke up in the chair. I think it was like right after the uh, the uh, he had the issue with the mirror when he stuck his hand through or something like that. Part, it was, that's it was part like one. Water. Yeah, that's part one. Yeah. 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 It was like water or something like that. And he wigged out. And he just started screaming and he just woke up in a chair and he's just like start screaming and stuff like that. Then he just kind of like passed out a little bit and then start screaming again. <laughs> <laughs> it was, at that point, that's when he lost his mind. His mind completely snapped. Another thing, right I would not have went into the cabin after seeing the swing moving by itself. Yeah, at the beginning, at the very beginning. And they're like, there's a swing moving. The wind's not even... You know, it, it, there's not even windy, and the swing is moving, and then it stops on its own when he gets to the door. And I'm like, how strange. <laughs> you know, you, you know this professor that started all this bullshit. He needed his ass whooped. Yes. Without, without I'm a gonna doubt. say these words out loud that say this thing, and I'm gonna say and it I'm, right gonna, now. And I'm gonna record it. <sighs> and I'm gonna record it. And people, are, yeah, people are gonna play it. You hear our dog? Yeah, that's like the original one. That's like the original junk, like what they have now, with that um, what is the like the the tapes and the VHS tapes and everything else like that? The ring is when that the ring? Watch. Yeah, the Seven is that days. the ring or something like that? Oh yeah, right. And it has like all the different. Yeah, it's the ring. It's a, yeah, it's like the same concept if you really think about it. You know, well, by him funny leaving th- that message on there. The funny like thing is. We filmed, we started filming a movie years ago called High Dead Finition. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was going to star Jonathan Joss, the voice of um, of uh, John Redcorn from King of the Hill. He's also um, Denali from The Magnificent Seven. That was right around the time when we got, when we met John. And um, there is a, I don't want to give too much away because one of these days we might actually film it again. Um, a way to spread the curse. <laughs> and especially in today's society, it would be very hilarious. And yeah, and, and yeah we're, we're still going to do that. One day. One we'll day. And One I didn't day. Re- I didn't realize how much we were ripping off from Evil Dead. Even really? though I hadn't seen Evil Dead 1, there was a bunch of stuff in Evil Dead we had already planned on, on, on film, putting in there. <laughs> now, if you ever see Man. the film, if you ever see the film that Deborah myself and then um the the past co- co-host here on cast of the pod paul um we filmed a movie called the zombie movie it was a f- short film and uh we definitely ripped off the the uh, the possession scene from oh, evil dead oh okay <laughs> maybe the sound effect too but no that, that's neither here nor there <laughs> man ash was so stupid man he just How completely stupid was he he just completely no sold the zombie movie. I know. He was like, he's like, nobody, nobody, nobody wants, wants nobody to. wants to watch your weak ass oh, YouTube cause, film. Because he's not in the movie. Remember, he's a big deal. E- yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't you start? <laughs> hey, you Co- started. Co- Cobweb's a superstar, <laughs> and De- and Deb and I are just lowly YouTube scrubs, barely even YouTube scrubs. <laughs> I am not saying that. And why you guys got to do me like that, man? Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. <laughs> man, this lighting oh. today, I, I know this has nothing to do with the Evil Dead or the podcast, but this lighting in this room today that, that we're recording, I look like a Muppet. I look like Bert. You like a Muppet? Yeah, I look like <laughs> Bert from the Sesame Street. Room. Dude. <laughs> Hey, Bert. <laughs> what? Okay, but back to the Evil Dead. Can we just call it Ted from now on? The Evil Dead. Ted. 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 Oh, Did- man. You know, that scene with his girlfriend, right? When she, um, in the first one, when she was possessed, right? And he was supposed to take her butt and chop her up mm-hmm. and put her in the woods, right? So when he took her butt out there and she was like trying to act like she was coming, like not being awake, trying to be awake. And she just kept closing his eyes every time he turned and the music cut off and cut on as she turned off her eyes and shit like that. I was dying. It was funny because earlier in the movie, before everybody was all zombified and all that, they did that same thing. 
when he was just kind of sitting there and she she had to go out the room go pee or something like that and then he's sitting there with a little jewelry box in his hand acting like he's asleep and then um she's like looking at him to see you know what's this jewelry box and then she looks mm-hmm. away and he opens her eyes his eyes and then back and forth <laughs> they spent a lot of time doing that closing the eyes open eyes and then and then she caught him yeah and then during that burial scene they did the same shit <laughs> that's pretty good same man shit. When she it caught her, she's like, eh. Oh, my God. <laughs> and he was laughing. <laughs> and then old girl in the basement, right? In the first one, she was down there when they threw her ass down in that one. She was getting on my damn nerves, too. She was just ah, breathing and shit like that. That was kind of some scary shit, though, for real, though. I told Deborah. I told Deborah. So you have this crazy-ass zombie, Right? And then you have this other one in the basement spent the whole movie raising the roof. That's all she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, here's a whole here's a whole please answer me this one. What? In uh Evil Dead 2. Right? When they when Ash is there with his girlfriend, right? They just see this cabin and they just stay there. They just pull off to the side and break into these people's house. Yeah. Yeah. She says, okay. what, if, what if somebody shows up? And he's like, oh, well, tell them we ran out of gas. <laughs> it was a different world back then, bro. It was a completely, totally different world where you could just go into random people's cabins and expect them not to be crazy. Because <laughs> now they're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was 1981. This no, was no, 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 no. People are crazy now. People were crazy then. You just didn't have the internet to see how crazy everybody was. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, right? They weren't documented then. <laughs> they have a cell phone yeah. to record. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Man. There was, man, there was just so much to this story, dude. When she when she came out that doggone woods and he was fighting her with that doggone, what was it? Uh, shovel? Uh, uh, no, not the shovel. What was it? It was like a... Uh, was it a railroad um wood or something like that or whatever? She had that wood or something else like that. And she was be- he was beating her with it or something. And she was rolling around on the ground. Oh, a big plank. Was, yeah. Yeah, that plank thing. I was like, what the hell is going on? The, the fight scenes were just so crazy. Well, and, first and, one, and, you and know? It, it cranks up in each movie. And when we get to the Army of Darkness being the third part and, and you see the fights and, and, and wow, we're not even getting into that. We're not talking about all three movies. We're just kind of one and two. Because yeah. we, we will have to do a special edition of, of Army of Darkness. Yes. Yes, Patreon only. Speaking Patreon. of Patreons, we were talking about it earlier. So, Patreons get the podcast. Try saying that quick. Patreons get the podcast without commercials. Not only do they get it in without commercials, they get it a few days earlier. They get some extra stuff, depending on what tier you're on. Um, extra stuff that nobody else gets extra episodes. We're going to start doing individual pods where Deb's going to talk about a movie herself. I'm going to talk about a movie myself. Cobweb. Are you going to do one? I'm going to do everything, dude. There you go. We're going to talk about our our, our, our back history and and, and how we fell into these movies and all that. And then Uh a special, special guaranteed. Can't put it on Patreon though. I have to just let you know about it. I can't put this type of thing as a tier benefit. And it, it, it's because, you know, some people see things differently. But every Patreon member at every level whatsoever, even if you're at the $2 level, we're guaranteeing that when the rapture like end of the world happens, that is caused by the actor Dave Batista, Cobweb. We'll be driving a bus. I will be on this bus. Deb will be on this bus. And we're going to go around to all our patroneers, Club 3P, with fresh water that's cold. We're going to pick everybody yep. up. And we are going to survive the post-apocalyptic desolate landscape that is our world after the Dave Batista brought on rapture-like end of the world. And we're all going to hang out. We're going to um, have a satellite phone. That way we can call people up that have their own satellite phones because we picked one up at Best Buy. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we're going to be in this bus with chainsaws on the side, a cow catcher on the front, cast the pod logo on the si- on, on the left. It's, and you know what, Josh? Josh, we're going to be drinking Perrier water, man. Perrier. Right. Let's make sure that we get that down pat. You get on the bus. We ain't drinking just regular bottle of water. We're drinking Perrier. I'm not a big fan of shit. Perrier. Well, well, hey, well, you go out that day. It's okay. the apocalypse, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, ha- we'll have Perrier, but maybe like a Topo I'm driving Chico. this damn bus. If I want Perrier water on the bus, we're going to drink Perrier water on the bus. We'll have one ice chest of that. We'll have one ice chest of Toco. Uh, no. Topo Chico. Topo Chico. And I'm, we'll I'm going to have at least one for me. And then we'll have an ice chest of like soda or whatever. Because what if somebody doesn't want to drink water? Yeah, what if somebody's blood sugar is low, Cobweb? We need to get them some sugar. So we drive up. If, if you're a Patreon... It's the end of the world. Dave Batista fucked up all our shit. Listen for this. Because that's us. That's us right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who, gets, who gets to hit the horn? Then you're driving. That's Me. you. You're in control of the horn. <laughs> I know. He's going to be doing it like every five seconds. He's going to stop. I'm so geek. Counting 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. <laughs> I'm going to get that audio oh. clip of Deb going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's going to be their horror. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Listen to us waiting for the apocalypse to come through. We're so excited. How cruel are we? Because we're going to drive the bus across the country to the yachts. It's, oh, it's going to be a solar powered bus. <laughs> solar powered. Like we're going to have the solar panels on top of the bus. Yeah. And then so that way we'll never run out of gas. Yep. Yep. Well, we'll and I'll be drinking gas. Perrier water as I pull up and pick you up. Yep. <laughs> I love it. And I don't know, but I saw something on the cast of the cast of the pod page the other day. What'd you see? A little, you see? A little teaser. Little teaser. Oh, you're talking about the t-shirt teaser? Yeah. We can't talk about the t-shirt. Oh. All I know is Brendan from Upkick MMA. You can catch him on YouTube. Um, gets the first shirt before I get one. Before Deb gets one. Before Cobweb gets one. Chuckles already says he wants to, to order one. But Brendan will be the first person to have one. So are these going to be on sale or are these only Patreon? No, they're going to be on sale. But but Patreon gets one free. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, he'll, he'll get his first. Okay. I, I mean, but I'll, I'll, I'll deliver it to him with, you know, but I mean, we might as well just place one big order. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put yours on until he puts his on. Yeah, yeah. Right, I mean. right, right, right. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I can do that. You know, or just you know, go home that day and just I'll, I'll wait. I give us a buffer time. <laughs> I give it like two days, maybe tops. <laughs> no, you're gonna be like, here's your shirt. Put it on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if we're in a meeting. <laughs> Or we we can go back and talk about Ted, the the Evil Dead. Oh yeah, like, dude. Ted? <laughs> oh shit. Oh man, you know that whole scene with the with the little when they, when they had the little guys of him that were attacking him. That you know, and he was trying Army to get away darkness. from them. That's Army of Darkness, Army. bro. <laughs> Oh my God! Is it this? Yes. Sure? Yes. Positive. Hundred percent. You're right. I got them all mixed up. <laughs> they well, all run together. We I'm should sorry. have just done a whole three. All three movies all together. <laughs> no, no. Army of Darkness. I, I'll tell you right now. I saw Army of Darkness before I saw Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Me Bef- too. Before yeah. I saw Evil Dead Two, I saw Army of Darkness. Me too. And Army of Darkness has a special place in my heart, and, and that one definitely deserves, even if I had to do it by myself, a a no, single episode. Three, it's be hey, that's no problem, us. Josh. That's no problem. But I mean, you know what? I bet you a lot of people are the same way you are because that was like that too. 
I was like that. I never even saw like the Evil Dead or saw like a um, a link for it or anything else like that. And when I did, I was like, oh shit. I was like, I've never seen this shit before. I remember you know? seeing oh, the posters. The, the poster of the okay. girl in her, in, in, in her nightgown, like reaching up and then like the zombie, like she's climbing out of the ground and then the zombie arms trying to pull her back underneath. Yeah. Yeah, right. I remember seeing that. And then I remember seeing the poster for Evil Dead 2 with just a, the skeleton face with eyeballs. Oh, my God. You know what just flashed in my head? What? That goddamn pencil. <laughs> the pencil. Oh! Uh, it was ugly. It looked real. Yeah, Stabbed her in yeah. the ankle. Stabbed her. That, that, uh, that was so well directed. That was so well directed. I, I was. He was walking. As she was walking with the the pencil, and it was dripping blood. Oh my god, that was beautiful. There, there are two scenes, and now, now that I say this, and, and I know it wasn't around the same time; it was years later. But there was another movie back in the day called Dolls. And my seventh grade or eighth grade, seventh grade science teacher, Miss Thomas. One day she was just done with us. She's like, I'm not babysitting y'all's asses no more. Y'all just gonna watch this movie. And she played the movie Dolls in science class. What? Yeah. Miss Thomas played this movie. Y'all must have made her like super mad. <laughs> okay. It, it was it was a different time back then, and we should not have seen this movie, but we did. And there's okay. a scene in that movie that reminded me that I well, that I remember seeing Evil Dead. When when they when the, you brought it up the pencil the pencil on the ankle, there's a scene in the movie when they they chop the back of the Achilles tendon on this one foot, and it's just just scene that's like, uh, 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 you know, and it, it took me it took me back to seventh grade Miss Thomas's class science class. Scene yeah mm. yep yeah, traumatized, thanks Miss Thomas. <laughs> you shouldn't have been acting up. I wonder if she's still around. You shouldn't have been acting up. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. Uh, I have horror stories, but those are for Patreon only. <laughs> so <laughs> we d- we did a movie on Cast of the Pod called Drag Me to Hell, which um, is a Sam Raimi film. And let's see. Let me go here on. I'm looking it up as we speak. Have you heard that episode, Cobweb? No, I have not. Man, Cobweb's like, if if I'm not on the episode, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it does a different see, kind of feel with those ones that, I, that I'm not there. See how, something see, missing. See how, see how he does this? <laughs> it's definitely something missing in those episodes when I'm not there when the before the dream team was formed. You know. You All know those, what that? You know what was missing? You know what was missing? What was missing? Me. There you go. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. I don't care for this. <laughs> Deb, I no, don't. I, I I don't feel that way. Okay, so that lie? It was, <laughs> you ain't got to lie, Cobb. You ain't got to lie. So it's episode number eight. I need to go. And, and it's me. It's Josh, Deb, and I Paul. I was gonna say, I think it's Paul. Yeah, he, and he he zoomed in from Japan. Really? And, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and we talk about that one. And but the reason I bring that up was I didn't realize that even back then in 1981, Sam Raimi was already about body fluids. Yeah, because that one it dra- was dragged just... me to hell. There's a whole bunch of puking into people's mouths, and like Ugh. like yeah. people regurgitating milk and pus and yeah, green. What, shit. what was up with the milk? What was up with the milk? That was gross. why is it always milk at the end when they're getting ready to croak? It, <laughs> It was so that way it wouldn't be rated X. It was it was non-rated. It wasn't NC seventeen until NC seventeen was was invented, but it was non-rated. The worst thing that non-rated was X at the time because then your movie wasn't gonna be shown anywhere. So they used milk and other colored fluids to not so it wouldn't literally have as much red blood. Mm. So yeah. and, and, well, they would have showed it at the drive in the drive in. On um on Halsted, you know they would they would have showed it there. Those drive-ins that had the dirty movies in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one like that around like a hundred and I think a hundred twenty-first or something like that. Mm-hmm. That was always a treat. 
I used to love when we was a kid, drive down the street, and my mom would always be like, hey, hey, turn your heads, you know? Because you just, you know, you just be looking as you driving down the street as a kid, like, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> People don't know. They, they just don't know, you know. The stuff we went through. The 80s. <laughs> Those late seventies, boy, that's a that's a powder kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I noticed during the Maximum Overdrive episode, uh, we did a lot of not talking about the the movie, and, and, and I see us going that way with this one as well. And honestly, I don't have what much of an issue. I don't have an issue with it. I, I don't have an issue. Dude, we've talked a lot about this movie, man. We've been talking about kills, murders, everything, bro. Oh, dude, why? You know, it's always going to be a. You know who I hate it? Who you hate? The one I hate that dude in uh, what was his name? Billy Bob or whatever in the overalls. That's part that's two. Part two. <laughs> right, in part two. Right. And, 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 oh, I can't. That, that's <laughs> Evil Dead Two, and, and, and right. he's talking about his girlfriend, Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe. Right. Yeah. When that, yeah. Are we talking about that one too? Or are we just going to do one? I don't know. That, well, well, I mean, it is what it is. We can talk about both of them, both of them, but, you know. You know, Josh, you're making this real complicated. <laughs> <Look>. <laughs> when is his ass going to sit up there and say, oh, uh, uh, we're going to go out there and go look for Bobby Joe? You know, and he gets the shotgun and stuff like that. And then takes the pages and throw them, throw them down in, uh, in the basement and everything else like that. I'm I was like, so glad when she pulled his ass down. <laughs> I'd have been like, you go look for Bobby Joe. <laughs> right? I ain't looking for shit. Like, I don't know her. And the, <laughs> right. She ain't nothing and even in one. In one, remember <laughs> the uh the guy one guy, he um he told us, she said, I ain't my girlfriend, that's yours, dude. I'm out here. I'm I'm gonna go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see how yeah, that worked out for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny to run. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, did you know that, speaking of Evil Dead 2, when the, the mom comes up from the, the basement, oh. that's actually Ted Raimi, which is Sam Raimi's brother, which is, if you've seen the game The Quarry, I don't know if you've seen that, but Deb and I are going to live stream that here on Cast of the Pod, probably on the Facebook, maybe maybe on the the YouTube, not the YouTube, the YouTube channel, not the YouTube, but uh, on YouTube or on Facebook, we're not sure yet. We're going to live stream that and and talk about it. It, It's like it's like controlling a movie, a horror movie. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. We just had to figure out a day. Oh yeah. So what was your what was your what was your favorite kill? I mean favorite scene in the in out of these one and two. Of Evil Dead and Evil Dead Two. The ankle? The ankle getting stabbed with a pencil. That was pretty messed up. I, I laughed at the um the spirits at the end of part one when they were claymation. And then when, the, when yeah, the, right. the naked girlfriend with her head cut off in part two, when she, when she was like stop motion. Shit. Oh, no. What, what's Wait, your... when I re- remember the scene when Ash, when he was sitting up there, and he was trying to get the book with the uh, with the necklace. And old girl was hitting his ass with that poker in the back, that hot poker in the back. Yep. <laughs> and then the dudes eat his leg on the other end. Oh. Deb, Deb what was your scene? For part two, either one. <clears throat> for for part two, um, my favorite was when they were all laughing and the deer came to. It was the <laughs> deer was laughing and then they were all laughing and then Ash started laughing. The, the head mounted oh. on the wall. The deer head mounted on the wall, laughing. That was my favorite yeah. part. Of part two, part one. Lots of silence. This is where the commercial <laughs> goes. If you don't have Patreon, I'm sure this is where the the algorithm will, <laughs> will drop a commercial. Right. What? What? Well, you just merge them together, you know. There's a lot to digest there. I mean, sometimes you'd be forgetting about something, and then next, you know, you hit it. 
and you remember some crazy junk that happened in this movie that you'd be like, what the hell? You know? It was, it was a lot to digest in this junk. I've been like watching nothing but Evil Dead for the last like three days. During Easter weekend. <laughs> yep. I ended up right. Look, listen to me. <laughs> Man, Easter weekend, I spent my Easter weekend watching Evil Dead, the entire trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So that means, let me go back to our Patreon. Not our Patreon. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so today is actually April 10th, Monday, April 10th, that we're recording this. We normally don't say the days or whatever. And that means right. our next episode will be Maximum Overdrive. So the people hadn't even heard that yet, our listeners. And this episode will come out on the 19th. Cool. I have, I have a question. What's up? So, like, the demons, they would go in and out of the people? Because remember in the first one where her girlfriend, his girlfriend, I forgot her name. Linda was the sister. Yeah. That the was- girl, so she was, like, sitting in the in the hallway or the doorway, and she was laughing in her Face. I like the way her face was painted up. Um, but she's sitting there laughing, and then all of a sudden she goes back to being the girlfriend, and then she stands up, and then that's when the one from in the basement, and she was raising the roof, and the the girlfriend's back to being the girlfriend again. I think that was just a trick. I think that was just evil, just messing with them. Was she, was mm. she, so she was still the, the demon? Just like, just like in part two, when he cuts the head off the girlfriend and puts her head in the vice, and she's like, "Oh, don't hurt me!" And blah 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 blah. I forgot yeah, about that. That was just the, the demons doing demon shit. Um, see, but then that, you know why I could understand that how you could be thinking that too, Deb. Because remember how the one ended? I mean, it was that when he had the demon in him, yeah, and he found that charm from his girlfriend, and that's what brought him back. Yep. You know, like he was able to kick the evil out. You like know? they didn't have the strength to completely possess or incorporate the bodies. I could see it that way too. Yeah, yeah, man. They were, they were that join us junk, man. We'll that suck your soul. Us, we'll suck your us, soul. Join us. <laughs> That's what we're saying. They was on some mess. Yeah, join, join us in the Patreon so you can be on the bus. <laughs> we're like raising the roof join us join us join us you can't see her right now cowboy but she's she's over there raising the roof i believe it i believe it why would i not believe it it's the death i don't think cobweb can hear it it doesn't let you hear it over there no i didn't hear anything Damn Zoom. I didn't hear it. That's why I was like, I didn't hear it that time. We got to find something else. Other, out, man. Find something else other than Zoom to do this because they keep cock blocking that way. You know, yeah, you got to, you know, we can't, we can't, we can't allow this. We can't he, allow this anymore. I got to talk to Brendan from Upkick MMA because whatever you and him were doing, don't say it right now over the pod. We don't need any trade secrets out or anything like that. But that looked pretty good, whatever y'all were doing. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk. It about happens you. like that sometimes, you know. I mean, he's, Brandon's a pretty smart cat, you know. He knows what he's doing, you know. He knows exactly what he's doing. That he's like that, you know. I've seen some of the stuff that he works on, man. The dude's a freaking genius. Good stuff. Trying to change, revolutionize the industry. So, shit like that. I don't think we have much more to say about the Evil Dead, the nineteen eighty one horror masterpiece that has changed the industry and so many other people have 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 tried to imitate what they've created to emulate what they've created so i think it's time for the calculator of doom what do y'all think i'm down with it yeah sounds good to me who's going first today we're just doing the first one right yeah just the first one (laughs) Just the first one, or we could we can put part one and part two together, but no Army of Darkness, just the Evil okay. Dead and Evil Dead Two. Let's, let's, let's say that we can throw them together. Who's going? I'll go first. All right, what are you giving it? I give it an eight. All right. You don't want to say why? Um, what? 
You don't want to say why or just eight? Just that's just cool. eight. It was a really good movie at for the time that it came out. Um, I it was the first time that I saw um, Evil Dead one, and it felt like I've seen it lots of times. Because you've seen Evil Dead two, yes, <laughs> lots of times. But um, it kept me entertained, and there was some parts that actually scared me, and there were things that I was like, yeah, I wouldn't be doing that right now. <laughs> All right, and the cobweb. To, um, to quote Chucky, the cobwebs. The cobwebs. I'm going to say, uh, I know this is going to throw you guys off, but um, I'm going to say um, for Evil Dead 1 and 2. Yep. Evil Dead and then Evil Dead 2. I'm going to give it a 10. What? Wow. Wow. I... <laughs> I'm going to give it a 10. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I mean... The special effects for what they did and how they could do it, the story and all, all that, it was great. There were holes or some bullshit, whatever, but they kind of made up for it. And they even rebooted it and it was even better, you know, than the first. You know, I know people be like, oh, this is not what happened. This is what, I, but they're like, oh shit, this shit is even fucking better. I wish I would have fucking forgot about that one because this was even better than the last one. And that's what kept happening. Yep. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then next thing you know, you got Army of Darkness, and then everybody forget about uh, um, Evil Dead too. Yeah, and they just remember Army of Darkness. Yeah, they they were. I love the character evolution of Ash from the first one. How they kept kept him in it, you know, and he just kept going with the same character and just kept redefining it more and more throughout the series. Dude. Masterpiece. I give it a nine. With Deborah giving it an eight, you giving it a ten, and myself giving it a nine, we know that it brings the average two from the three of us to a nine. That's pretty good. It's still good. Yeah. 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 Too bad I we didn't too too bad Chucky didn't call in. Well, he didn't know. He didn't know about Evil Dead. Um, I did put out there if anybody wants to give a call. And talk about Night of the Comet. They can call us at 786-763-2278. Check out the movie Night of the Comet. Let us know what you think about it and what you would rate it. And we'll inc- the first person to do that will include your call. Now, I said that in Maximum Overdrive, which isn't going to air until this week. So we don't know if anybody called in or not. So I might be jumping the gun. Somebody might have called in after that. That's true. I'm getting all confused on this time. It's like a like a time jump movie. <laughs> we got plenty of time. Don't worry about it. We make it up as we go. What if you know? What if it's a 1984 movie, Night of the Comic? What if I said this in this week's upcoming episode, which is Maximum Overdrive, and we get like ten yeah. calls, and then they hear this next episode, and like we get like five or six more calls because everybody wants to watch Night of the Comic. And then I just messed up like that by saying it twice. We'll still Dude, play. We'll still man. play everybody. Yeah, yeah. We'll do like a, a Zoom party. Dude, everybody gets some. Ooh, yeah, everybody gets some. All right, everybody, I'm come on. I'm down. I'm down. I want to do a Zoom party. We can all raise the roof. Getting it. Getting it. Getting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the light. <laughs> you know what? Trying to get the lights going there. Thanks. Oh shit. Oh. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> a Never episode, a dull man. moment on cast of the pod. Nope. Heck no, man. This is awesome. I think. Hey, is there anything else that we haven't told these guys about? I don't know. What, what am I forgetting? Usually, when you say know. something like that, that's your nice way of telling me, "Hey, Josh, you forgot something." <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we've forgotten anything. I think they got everything that they need. Okay. So <laughs> now for I forget something. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I've had a few concussions. We, we, we've called them fun cushions, but you know. No, no. No, I don't think so. No. I think uh, he's no. just messing with you. I know. He's playing with my emotions. Oh yeah! After the, I'm still upset about that lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. 
All right, so today we've done our breakdown, our conversation about The Evil Dead, the 1981 horror masterpiece. Now, there might be some people who have never seen this movie that might just be at the age to see this kind of grotesque, blood-filled type of movie, and y'all might see it and go, that's weak, that's lame. I can't believe that they did that. This movie isn't whatever. You have to keep in mind that when this movie was made, there wasn't anything else like this. So anything that you're watching now that's so much gorier or heavier than this movie, that movie has to thank the evil dead for it being what it is. That way your movie could be what it is now. So show some motherfucking respect for the evil dead. (laughs) Hell yeah, dude. Why is it the movies that they dumbed down that were rated X are so freaking hardcore? This is the second one we've had like that. Cobra and now this one. Hey, you know what's another one, right? That that won't be on that won't be on Cast of the Pod, but another X rated movie that's not an X rated movie, but they rated it that way. What movie? Robocop. Oh. Robocop. Did you know that? I, we might have to go back and look at that. No, just for one scene. I have the the Criterion Collection one the, 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 of of Robocop, the unrated, they, they, the X rated version of it, where you know at the scene when Johnson's there, and he he's like he's like um, he's like point the gun at Ed two o nine. You have fifteen seconds to comply. Right. Yeah. Well, in the in the X rated version of it. He shoots him. He falls onto the, the the thing of old Detroit and just keeps on shooting him. And they're like, shut it down. Stop it already. Right. Yeah, no, but in, on this one, it goes for like a minute. A minute on movie time. Just just keeps on, just puddles him. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, wow. It was like an extended cut. Yeah, and they had to cut that out in order to get an R rating. I can understand that. I mean, you didn't need it all that. But see, the it was thing, enough. Hard, it was hardcore enough. The thing is, it was so violent and so bloody, and it lasted so long that it started getting funny. And then the cut version that they put was short and bloody and traumatic. And because it was short, it was more kind of, if you ask me, it was more traumatizing, especially for younger minds, than the long, drawn out, almost comedic blood party. You know what I'm saying? I could understand that. Yeah, I can understand that. But they had to leave that out because they didn't want any too much comedy into that movie. That movie was nothing funny about it. But that's the neither podcast. That's neither yep, here nor yep, there. That's neither here nor there. All right. So until next time, this has been I said that already. The Evil Dead on Cast of the Pod. And it's you know okay. you know all our social media is at Cast of the Pod. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Much YouTube. love to our Patreons. And yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Cobweb, you have anything you want to throw in there? Nope. Have a good one, y'all. Deb? Nope. All right, so until next time. Bye, everybody. No, nobody? Nobody? What? You, what? You've you been have warned. been warned. All right, y'all. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> the timing is... <laughs>